All right. Right, so we're continuing our walk around the floor of Best Practice 2024 in Birmingham, um, looking at the small holders and seeing what the exhibitors have to offer. Just looked into Thomas yeah. from Heidi. Yeah, um, Thomas, fine. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Tom from Heidi. <laughs> um, uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about, about Heidi. Some of you might know about it already. I think he's been on the channel before. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, do you want to explain the, the core functionality yeah. of Heidi, and then we'll talk about maybe if there's any new developments sure. in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yes, I'm. Tom, doctor by background. Um, basically what Heidi does is it transcribes your visit and makes perfect notes without you having to type at all. It's so basically start of the visit, imagine we're seeing each other, I'm the doctor, you're the patient. I click start at the beginning, we do our normal visit, I don't have to type at all. I click stop at the end and a note streams out and you can pick your template, your voice, your preferences. Um, and so it basically means, you know, if you're seeing lots of patients, you're just clicking start, clicking stop, copy, paste your notes in and that's it. Um, yeah, and it's gone really well. We've got, I think, a good a few thousand uh, GPs using it every day now and growing quite a lot. So, yeah, that's good. I think you do a free, there's a free kind of uh, yeah. Box, isn't there, on the website. Yeah, so there's a proper free version where there's about five templates, like your basic sort of soap note and history and past medical history and HOPC note, and those notes are all for free. And for us, the reason is we know this is a big behavior change. Like, you know, when I was in clinics, like typing, it's like really ingrained. So it makes it just easier for you to get used to it. And then we charge you if you want to do other documents or other templates. Um, and the, the maths works for the business. Compliance wise, like we don't use the free in any different way. Like it's the same, like if you're paid or free, it doesn't matter. Um, it's still compliant. We can still get through all the cybersecurity with the ICBs and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you can assist with... Yeah, we can help with like the DTAX and the DCBs and all that stuff. Yep. Cool. And in terms of like the other documents, I'm seeing it on the stand, it's about uh, fit notes and yeah. reports or maybe another thing. So what kind of other work can you help with aside from the basic transcribing consultation? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like the world's your oyster. So anything, anything that you would reasonably write, Heidi could probably write as well. So everything from like meeting minutes or multidisciplinary or clinic meetings that practice managers really love to for GPs more like your you know ADHD assessments, your referral letters to specialists. Um, you can do like uh, clinical summaries of results or basically like almost anything. Um, like I think we have more than a thousand templates now in the community of, and they're all completely different. So different things uh, like P PSA notes, uh, new presentation fertility notes and they all have little different sections uh, that act as an aid to you to remember how to document well as well. Ah, okay, so there's some prompts as well. Exactly, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and is there anything kind of new or on the horizon or what do you yeah, want to Yeah, yeah. So I think pro probably by the time this comes out, uh, there's a chance we will have launched our, uh, so we're basically launching it, we're calling it like omnipresence or multi-platform. So anywhere, everywhere, we'll have a mobile app, desktop app, Chrome extension. The, they do different things. So mobile app will work really well on the go. If you're you know, at an aged care home or you don't have a computer in front of you, you can just record on that. Uh, That's good. The desktop app will be able to do telehealth. So if you do Teams or Zoom or soft calls, just call through the computer, uh, Heidi can capture it. So even if you wear headphones during telehealth and it's not played out loud, Heidi could still do your notes. Uh, and then the Chrome extension, is going to help us with integration, being able to send notes into any web-based system very easily in one click. Um, uh, and then maybe early next year, we're hoping to have some integration in place with EMS and System One. That's the, but that, that takes a bit of time. Okay, wow, that's quite a lot. Quite yeah. A good, on your to -do list. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's good. So, um, how have you been finding best practice? Having a good conference? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's definitely the biggest conference we've been, you know, bought, sort of to the walls for like you know, I don't know, three hundred different people we've spoken to. So. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Lots of positive, you know, inspired people looking looking for tools to help them out. So yeah, it's been great. Awesome. And uh, last question: um, As you look forward into the future of primary care, is yeah. there anything that you're particularly excited about? Maybe in your field, maybe maybe outside. Maybe yeah. Technology flavor. Anything that's you're excited about? Yeah, I'm quite excited. Um, obviously, I'm biased because you know we're building AI yeah. assistance for clinicians. Hey, so product, that's fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Else um, but I'd say more generally, I think what what I'm excited about is when I went into medicine, I had this platonic idea of what a doctor is. Like I walk in, I, I help this person in front of me, I come up with a plan, I'm the smartest in the room, and like they respect me and love me and you know, everything, everything's good in the world. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the idea yeah, in my head. Welcome, welcome yeah, exactly. Um, and, and I think with, with AI, the exciting thing is that it'll get us a little bit more back to that more human style of medicine, like the fun, um, 
uh, where documentation's done, a lot of front desk trouble and documentation and audits are done by AI mostly. Um, anything that you want to delegate that's kind of low value, tedious, annoying, uh, you just give to Heidi. And then everything that you love about your job, you keep for yourself. Um, so very excited about that. Um, that's sort of the compass of the things that we build. Um, so I think like practically like helping with triage, front desk, helping with out of visit, patient monitoring, conversations with Heidi. There's lots of exciting things. Yeah, are you looking to be, become uh, or develop a more patient-facing product? Because you can see, yeah. you know, chatting to patients on the, on the telephone, you know, collecting yeah. data. Yeah. Are you looking at that space? Or yeah, I, th I think so. It will always be like very tightly coupled to the practice. So you'll get to decide as a doctor what, what conversation, what, what you want Heidi to do for you. But, it, but if, for example, you want us to take the frontline conversations and summarize that conversation, rather than having a doctor triaging all the patients you know, first thing on the Monday morning, you, you could potentially have Heidi taking those calls anytime. And then you still do the callbacks, the scheduling, but, but basically all Heidi's doing is gathering information. It's not, it's not a, um, giving advice or, or deferring visits. It's strictly just for gathering information. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so there's lots of different ways, but that, that's something I think is quite interesting. We're definitely working on probably next year. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, yeah, really, really exciting pipeline, Tom. So, thanks. thanks very much for talking to us. No worries. And, um, how, how can people sort of uh, learn more about Heidi? How would they? Yeah, so, um, so if you just head to HeidiHealth.com, there's a UK uh, version, so it should automatically just put you in the UK. Um, and yeah, you can get started on the product. You don't need to install anything, or it's just in a web browser, it'll, it'll work. Um, and you can give it a try and yeah, I hope you love it. Awesome. Thanks for talking to you. Thanks so much. Cheers. <laughs>